In this video, I will walk you through the key features of accessing Cosmos DB in Azure Storage Explorer, aka ASE. You can now use ASE to manage your Cosmos DB entities, manipulate Cosmos DB data, update store procedures, triggers, and UDFs. The primary goal of adding Cosmos DB in ASE is to provide you a one-stop shop to access more Azure storage resources, including blob, table, queue, and files. We also strive to provide you a traditional explorer experiences for better accessibility and flexible navigation across Cosmos DB accounts and across hierarchies. For Cosmos DB in ASE, now we support the Document DB API and MongoDB API in this release. The Cosmos DB in ASE runs smoothly on Windows, Linux, and Mac, just like your experiences of accessing Blob and Queue in the ASE. Let me first open Azure Storage Explorer in a slick Mac machine. The first action you need to perform is to connect to the Cosmos DB resources through your Azure subscription. Click the third plugin icon on the left, choose the Azure environment to add an Azure account, then click sign in to go through the Azure sign in process. Apply your subscription in order to show the respective Azure resources. Now you have your Cosmos DB account in addition to your other Azure resources, such as blobs and tables in the left tree. Moreover, you can also directly connect to your Cosmos DB through the right menu under Local and Attached. Cosmos DB in ASC inherits the common operations of ASC. On the left, you can add resources into quick access through the right-click context menu. You can also choose search from here or click search icon to perform keyword-based search. In addition, you can click refresh to refresh the node and its children. On the lower left, you can see the corresponding actions and the properties for the selected item. There are two ways to open your Cosmos DB entities, either through double-click or from the right-click menu. On the right, you can use the toolbar on the top to perform different actions. The main content is displayed in the right window, and the activity logs are shown in the lower right pane. Now let me introduce to you the hierarchy of Cosmos DB entities in the left tree. You can expand or collapse your Azure Cosmos DB accounts. From the Cosmos DB account, you can drill down to database, such as DocumentDB or MongoDB. Then look up into the corresponding collections. There are four entities under Cosmos DB collections, documents, store procedures, triggers, and UDFs. You can perform a couple of actions for database and collection. Right-click the Cosmos DB account, choose Create Database. Type the database name and enter to create your new database. You can also right-click the database to create a collection. You are required to enter the collection ID, storage capacity, throughput, and partition key. Click OK to create the collection. If you want to delete a collection or a database, right-click and choose Delete Collection or Delete Database, respectively. To manage documents, double-click to open it in the right window. Then you can create, update, delete, and filter the documents. Click on New Document to create a document. Enter the ID and other content if needed. Click Save button to save the document. You can also edit existing documents. Click Update to save or discard to cancel the changes. Click on Delete to delete the chosen document. Another cool feature of documents is that you can use Filter to manage documents. Apply the filter then you can get the documents you want. Back to the left tree for stored procedures, triggers, and UDFs, you can also perform CRUD operations. 
right click choose create stored procedure enter the name on the left and type the stored procedure scripts in the right window click create button to complete you can also edit existing stored procedures through double click click update to save or discard to cancel the changes the operations for triggers and UDFs are very similar thank you for watching if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.